It is another Sunday. You know what that means. It's time for some news and nonsense. And today it's St. Patrick's Day. So my good friend Stephanie joins me from Ireland. No, she's from Germany, but that's okay. <laughs> Stephanie, happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It is nice and sunny today. So let's start off with a quick little uh, joke, one-liner, Irish one-liner, before we go into some news. Stephanie, what do you call a uh, – I should have wrote it up. What do you call a – an Irish seven-course meal. A six-pack and a potato. <laughs> There's more where that comes from. Okay, yeah. so. Uh, <laughs> it's just a joke. I love Irish people. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So, how was your week? Very good, thank you. How was yours? It was it was good. It was good. So uh, I know you've been posting some new pre-production songs on YouTube, but there'll be another new one coming up this week. I am hoping so, because it's almost done. <laughs> yeah. By the way, that song called The Sun, I think that should be on the Living album. Maybe a remix. That's such a wonderful, beautiful mm -hmm. commercial song, even there, I say. People can sing to it. It's accessible. It's memorable. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I hum it in the car for various, oh. yeah. But I think that song, <laughs> and the guys who are watching this later, just check out Steph. Just go to stephanieforian.bandcamp.com. You can listen to this song for free. But mm -hmm. it's a wonderful, uh, uplifting song to wake you up in the morning. Anyway, but, th but I think it should be on the Living Album. Just, it right. just popped in my head. Well, then just I'll a think thought. about it because I don't have it arranged yet. So I could yes. it would definitely be a good yes. candidate. Put it all yeah. because I said so. No, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'll dedicate um, it to you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, all right, all right. Well, let's go to some uh, news and then some nonsense, like we did uh, last week. And if anything else comes to mind, so today is uh, St. Patty's Day, and we'll save those jokes for last. Let's go to some technology news. Um, I know you use mainly Apple products, right? Correct. Well, I'll just I'll just throw out some headlines. You can give me your initial thoughts, but yeah. Apple is guilty of infringing on three. Qualcomm patents. A U.S. federal court finds Apple infringed, infringed on three patents. You know, I can't everybody play nice. You know, just yeah. find some <laughs> harmony, something in between. Yeah, yeah, right. Forget about it. Mm -hmm. um, but you haven't had any issues with Apple products, right? At all? Well, it's, they're not. They're not perfect. I'm not yeah. one of those people who uses Apple because they absolutely adore Apple. I just yeah. use it because it's the easiest for me, um, just because of what I do. But you know, I also use Windows, and there's advantages to Windows that you don't get, you know, with Mac products. And so, I mean, it, no system is perfect. That's true. <laughs> that's true. I know. Yeah. I know. But because of what you do, the specific Apple or Mac software, is there one piece of software that you find using like almost all the time yeah well i mean like for a lot of the software that i use is honestly kind of interchangeable like um the daw that i use is logic pro um and that's only for apple products however if i were to get something like cubase i could also use that on my windows machine the only problem is uh my windows computers like right now um i have a dell yeah. and you know i luckily i've still got you know a service contract on it so when something goes wrong someone can help me but uh. the, the one of the problems that i'm finding is because you know i want to actually edit videos i use premiere on um, adobe premiere on my mac but i could also use it on my pc mm. and so i was thinking of maybe switching entirely to pc but um one of the problems i have is every single windows update that comes around i have to completely reinstall my graphic card Every oh, single time. Oh, Every geez. single time. And it takes me like an hour to do. And that does not happen in a Mac. Does not that happen. Never, in... that's never happened with a Mac. And oh, so but it's it's little things like that where I find oh. you know, anytime I start relying on my Windows machine, it fails me. Yeah, I um I mean I use mainly Linux like eighty percent mm -hmm. of the time for what I do. I'm not a professional singer or nothing, but so far, you know, across my fingers it works. I go into Windows like now when I when I have to, mm -hmm. but they just made Windows 10 more complicated than what it should be. It works when mm -hmm. it, you know. But all right, well let's let's move on. Um, all right, this is for Android phones. I have a, I have a Motorola. More than two thirds of all Android antivirus apps are ineffective, <laughs> <laughs> and many don't do even anything at all. Wow, it's something I really haven't thought. I trust Google. 
you know, to pre-screen their apps to make sure they're okay. But like you said, nothing's perfect. There's another headline here. Stupid apps on the Play Store promise to magically update your phone to a new Android version. Uh, it seems like the Apple phone, the iPhone, a little bit more stringent quality control, maybe you would yeah. say. I would say so. Well, I think it's simply because they they just have more control in general. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. All but right. I mean, they're not perfect either. But there's been scandals with updates and stuff. There I know. Just... I know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I have I have an iPad that I haven't used in a while. Well, because it's the original or second generation, I can't remember. Mm-hmm. I can't download Facebook, YouTube. I like, well, what's the point? But right. maybe I'll sell it to someone for twenty bucks or something. I don't know. Um, all right, um, Spotify. I know your songs are on Spotify and other uh, mm-hmm. streaming services. Spotify and Apple's response to App Store dispute: Every monopolist will suggest they have done nothing wrong. I'm not sure where that thing is going, but I, I think we've talked about this before in the past, where mm-hmm. some of the uh, the uh, uh, the the agreements between the artists and the streaming services need to be more fair. Yes. I think we, we talked about it a couple of years ago, actually. Mm-hmm. Has has that changed since since we last talked about that, or not? Well, it was supposed to change, I believe, this year, um, where the the streaming um, royalties were supposed to increase to to the artists to a fair amount and so spotify and um google and a bunch of them are now essentially fighting against that because they don't want to do it Mm. and so like i mean if you love artists deezer is a great way to support them because you're using the same sort of service but the artists are actually getting paid for their work so it's one of those things like apple i think apple music is a little bit better so if you use apple music that's good um deezer is great like i know i'm always happy when i see my deezer royalties I'm like yes <laughs> nice so, nice yeah. well next dinner's on you then <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh okay uh let's see what we have here well the galaxy s10 was released my son got one mm-hmm. i won't say the price but anyway <laughs> uh it says here that the galaxy s10 is the better smartphone for taking photos compared to the iphone hmm. now, which iphone do you have which one? i have the i have the iphone xs Okay, that's what they're 10S, saying. Whatever. Okay, all right. It's <laughs> compared to the iPhone XS, and it's clear, I'm reading it, it's clear what Apple needs to add to its next phone. So Samsung apparently is doing it right. Um, okay, well, good for them. I don't know about $1,600, though. I, 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 yeah, perfect. phones are getting expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, I could see up to 1000 for a top of the line, but I mean, some of these phones, some of the, there's a foldable phone that's $2,600. Mm-hmm. No, I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we were talking about Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Microsoft, Windows 10 will auto, will auto uninstall buggy updates. Uh, <laughs> believe it when I, uh, you mean like, right. The whole system is going to be uninstalled. Yeah, I was going to say, really? How are they going to uh, do that? Okay. Oh my God! Yeah, it's, it, that. <laughs> you know what? It's Windows Seven appears to be the last fun Windows operating system. I mean, I still use Windows Ten like now. It's it's stable for the most part. I haven't noticed any blue screens or black screens, but they just made it overly complicated. There really didn't need to be that. So, no, I do have right. to say it has gotten more stable. Okay. So that is like with my experience, but that graphic card issue. That's weird. I'm like, I'm trying to edit video and my graphic card yeah. has to be reinstalled like a couple times a week. No. That's bizarre. Yeah. Okay. All right. Maybe Apple should buy Microsoft. There's a thought. Ooh. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> I know. All right. Uh, I think that's all I have for the uh, stable news. What do you have? I only have some interesting history facts that I discovered on the interwebs. (laughs) So, in ancient Egypt, servants were smeared with honey to attract flies away from the pharaoh. That's interesting (laughs) for a different reason, but I can go there. (laughs) Okay, all right, okay. No, but I mean, like, can you imagine having that as a job? Wearing honey to get flies all over you <laughs> well thanks for the joke honey ha ha okay honey. Thanks for... <laughs> that was just too easy okay i try i try to make it easy yes, yes, you do. <laughs> um okay here's one from bavaria where i am roman catholics in bavaria founded a secret society in 1740 called the order of the pug 
new members had to wear dog collars and scratch at the door to get in. <laughs> well, there's another story going to the dogs. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, what else? For, for everybody who thinks that Abraham Lincoln was, you know, a really cool guy, before he became a politician, he was a champion wrestler. With more than 300 bouts under his belt, Lincoln only lost one match in his career and was inducted into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame in 1992. Is this for real? Really? <laughs> it's the internet. <laughs> in this corner, weighing one that is Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, why not? Why not? I didn't know that. If that's true, that's, that's interesting. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'll take I'll take the internet's word for it. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. In 1923, jockey Frank Hayes won a race at Belmont Park in New York despite being dead. He suffered a heart attack mid-race, but his body stayed in the saddle until his horse crossed the line for a 20 to 1 outsider victory. Oh my. Okay. Well, it's like instead of when you say the show must go on, the race must finish or something like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, well, okay. I guess some, <laughs> someone made money on that bet, you mm -hmm. know? All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I've got mm -hmm. one last one here. And yeah. if uh, anybody watching happens to be from Britain, maybe you can confirm this, uh -huh. but apparently all British tanks since 1945 have included equipment to make tea. <laughs> I am not <laughs> Spot of tea. I am not surprised. I am not surprised. I wouldn't be on that surprised one. either. I don't know. So maybe maybe someone uh, watching is uh, has experience with tanks in Britain. Interesting. <laughs> so while you're in the tank blowing up houses, wait. I tea break. Time out. Okay. All right. I don't know. Um, well, I saw a movie a few years ago uh, about a tank of all. I think it was called Fury. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, I guess it was based on a true story. I think it was called Fury, something like that. But uh, I don't recall them drinking tea in the tank, though. <laughs> uh, anyway, all well, right. I was on a Russian train once, and ah. we were traveling through Siberia, and it was like a sleeper train. And so yeah. um, I remember we were going for a walk. We wanted to find the dining car. And so we're wandering through this train. And, I mean, this was like... I wish I had filmed it, but there is no way to film it because, I mean, there's just people everywhere, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, privacy. Yeah. But um, they had these these cabins and it, or like it just looked like an old log cabin, but you were on the train. And there's these people on these bunk beds. I think there were like three or four bunk beds per yes. wall. Yes. And they had little tea machines, but they were really ornate. They were out of metal and they literally had flames under them, heating them. And so you'd walk into this wow. train car with wow. people hanging up their laundry and, you know, people sleeping and uh, the military men were traveling this way. So there were, you know, people in the army, there were all sorts of like, there were little old ladies knitting in like little chairs. And then there was this tea machine. And I was like, this is like a movie. And a Russian train. On a Russian train. Yeah. That's, that's unique. Da, comrade, you want some tea? Hey, come here. Hey, you, <laughs> you want a tea? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, that would have been nice if you could have like filmed and recorded it because, um, you know, world cut world cultures, you know, you know, when we, because you've been lucky enough to travel, I've traveled some, there's a whole different world outside the U S and it's, it's amazing. It really is, you know, um, but all right. Um, let me ask you, uh, um, a question, uh, Linux question briefly. We've been okay. talking about on my channel uh, because Linux market share desktop is like 2%. The rest mm -hmm. is dominated by Windows and Mac and Apple. Mm -hmm. So we were saying, well, I was saying, we kind of agreed that someone, a company, Google, Amazon, whoever, should make a national standard Linux desktop. And it mm -hmm. could be Ubuntu or whatever. Mm -hmm. And... Um, for about, I think, $400 for a starter machine should be the sweet spot. Quad quad core, four gigs, nothing fancy, just something solid, mm -hmm. reliable. It's Linux, so you generally don't have to worry about viruses. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go through the unique updates with Windows, as it were. Mm -hmm. And I was saying $400 to get started would be perfect. What say you? I think so, although it's hard for me to say. Because first of all, um, you know, 
one of the reasons that you don't have the same problems with viruses with Linux is just because it's not a widespread platform. It's not worth it for a hacker to do anything with 2%. Um, however, um, you know, if you were to have it go more mainstream, all of a sudden there would be a lot more interest, I think, from the hacking community. So there's that one downside. Um, another one is, um, I think, at least from my experience, and I, I only talk to a very limited amount of people, so I don't know that this would be like a market, ref like or an accurate reflection of the market, but I feel like a lot of the people who are into, you know, computers who would be willing to take a chance on a new operating system because they're not afraid of it. Um, those are the sorts of people who are also willing to spend money on computers because they know exactly, you know, the, the workings and how to make them more efficient and things. So, um, you know, if you have a lower price point, I think that's great. Um, but I'm not sure how many, like, I can't imagine my parents buying a Linux machine, um, because they, I think they would be too unsure of what it is and they wouldn't know how to get help. Okay. Possibly. We kind of address, and that's that's fair. But mm -hmm. the way I would set up, like say I was in charge of the Ubuntu, you know, computer, or whatever, I mm -hmm. would have a set up in a store or whatever, a live demo. Hey, here's the Ubuntu machine doing updates. Here's the Windows machine <laughs> with the <laughs> Stephanie's right video driver updates, <laughs> and let's see which one's faster. Show them, and then, but let them touchy feel it. You know, go to the keyboard and say, "Hey, uh, you want to go to you want to go to the web? You want to play me? You want to play Stephanie's music? There you go." But let them try it, and yeah, when they if realize, it's an educational thing. I think that'd yeah. work. And you grab the mouse, click. At, what I say, click and go, as you would in Apple or Windows. I think that would take the stress off and tell them. And by the way, this has a thirty-day money-back guarantee. Mm. Not happy, you bring it back. We're done. We, we want you to try it. You buy this machine, you get guaranteed five years of updates included, mm -hmm. and one year free tech support. I think that I think that would eliminate like issues like your parents mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, we're not sure, honey. You know, if, yeah. Uh, if you included tech support, okay. I think you could maybe get more people interested in that because you know, like, yeah. because I know like people who I mean, I switch between Windows and Mac all the time, so I'm used to the different operating systems. But I do know that the first time you do that. You're like, wait, where, where, how do I shut this program off? How do I even start the machine? You know, like, or how do I shut it down? You know, those, those little things, like, I think are difficult, more difficult for people who aren't used to just kind of going between the different systems. So I do think if you had help, that would be okay. a, a step in the right direction. Yeah. Okay. I personally would go for it. I think it'd be great. I'd get a Linux machine, but. <laughs> awesome. Well, there you yeah. go, guys. Approved by a professional <laughs> singer. All right. All right. Well, that's. That, I don't know how much clout that has with anybody, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I just wanted to ask to get you because I really haven't asked you that question. I think I may have mentioned it before, but that's good. That's that's a fair assessment. Um, I hope one day we will see it to give people an option who are upset with the way Windows does, Microsoft does Windows, like the video drivers. People who really don't need to spend two thousand dollars or more on a Mac. Yes. You know, and they want something in between, like mm -hmm. mom and pops. And I think an Ubuntu machine or Linux Mint or ABC or Stephanie's machine or whatever you want to call it, I think would work. And start right. a, keep it simple, you know, mm -hmm. not a gaming rig or anything. Just start about right. $400, then go from there. That's upgradable. You would you just know. need to make sure that, um, because I think, I know that, for example, a lot of people, uh, my friends ask me about computers a lot which I think is kind of weird because I don't really know. Like, I just know what I have to know, <laughs> but I'm Well, you not, know like, your specific software, basically. Right, that I know. But like, okay. you know, so like if family members are looking for a new machine, a lot of times they'll, they'll ask me yeah. what I think they should get. And I'm like, well, I don't know. But um, what I have noticed is a lot of times, like, for example, when I'm suggesting switching operating systems, yeah. their first question, because a lot of them are just doing basic things, writing Word documents, sending emails, you know, maybe using Excel. So it's yeah. not like, you know, huge, you know, things. But a lot of times their first question is, but if I use a different operating system, will the files I make be compatible when I send mm -hmm. them to other people? And so I think um, like that's something you'd have to address. You'd have to have very specific apps for the most popular applications. And you'd have yeah. to make sure that those file formats are compatible with each other and that they don't have to like save them in some sort of weird mm -hmm. way. You know, I think I that think, that would yeah. also be a really big selling point if they knew, oh, well, if I buy this machine, I can still write Word documents, even if I'm using a different program. 
I think that can be addressed uh, mm-hmm. so far, which is but but you know, like without a pro. I think audio and visual files nowadays are pretty standard stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, there's Skype for Windows, Skype for Linux. You know, uh, I but those, those those are fair questions and concerns, and I think that can be addressed. Uh, mm-hmm. But that's I think the, those are fair statements, Stephanie. So. All right. Well, maybe one day we'll see the Ubuntu machine. Who knows? But I think it's time. Something in between. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I th- I think the more options you have, the better too. Like yes. I think the market is is better when you have more options. So I would like to I'd like to see it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, there we go. We agree. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have any extra uh, news stuff. Do you? Or that was it for news? Because we'll go to some funny stuff. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. Uh, let's see. The, today, so these are short Ireland Irish jokes. Today is mm-hmm. happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody watching. Okay. Let's see here. What's the difference between a smart Irish man and a, and, and a unicorn? Nothing. They're both fictional characters. Oh. These, these are not my jokes. These are just, okay, all right, okay. Smart Irish men out there, we salute yeah. you. Yes, we do. <laughs> uh, and as soon as I find one outside, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I tried uh, to save it. I tried. Yes, I know. <laughs> Those darn New Yorkers. Okay. What do you call an Irish fella? This is cute. What do you call an Irish fella trying to break up a fight? I don't know. Liam Malone. Oh, <laughs> that took me a minute. Yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, why is Ireland the fastest growing country in Europe? Because it's always Dublin. Uh. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> it's corny, but it's funny. Okay. It is. <laughs> of course, I had the one I started. What do you call an Irish seven course meal, a six pack and a potato? Okay. Uh,. Did you hear the joke about the Irish man leaving the bar? No, it won't happen. He's not going to leave the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of Germans. That, that, that joke uh, okay. Oh, well, Oktoberfest and all that. Okay. Yeah. Did you hear? This is kind of mean, but, mm-hmm. but it's just a joke. It's just a joke. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear about the winner of the Irish beauty contest? Me neither. Oh. It's just a joke. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, why can't you borrow money from a leprechaun? Because they're always a little short. Ha ha. Oh, okay, that one's good. <laughs> okay. And I, oh, this is what I, <laughs> I like that one. There was one, one of my friends came back from a trip from Ireland, one of my high school buddies. And he says, yeah, I was just walking down the street and I came across a leprechaun museum. <laughs> I never heard of it. Mm-hmm. So he took a picture, a couple, but there was nobody inside, inside the museum. So I, <laughs> I guess staffing was a little short that day. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, that was just too easy. <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? Uh, okay, well, one time, it, it, it's funny because, uh, you know, nobody really knows who I am, which is actually kind of nice. <laughs> to like, you know, have anonymity when you go out, you know, like I, I'm gonna I imagine... have to change that. Okay. Right. okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'll take fame if it, okay. you know, if okay. it comes, okay. but yeah, I do think that there's an advantage to being able to go out on the street and not having people recognize you. Yes. Yes. Because I've worked with a lot of people who don't have that freedom anymore. And so, um, I, you just have to do things differently when you go out. Um, and how do I put this? Oh, yeah. So being someone that nobody knows, I take these freedoms and I'm just like, oh, whatever. And yeah. I remember there was one time when um, I had forgotten something. Um, like I had a, a technical piece of equipment on the stage and I needed to go get it. But the problem was um, the audience had already started coming out. And at this particular venue, the backstage rooms were in between, like, or there were the, the people were coming out like into a hallway that was between the backstage and the stage. So I remember the bodyguard was like, no, you no go out. You stay. And I was like, "Mm, I'm just getting my thing. I was like, nobody knows who I am. He's like, you just on stage, you stay. And I was like, I'm just a background singer. Like nobody cares. (laughs) So I went out to go get my piece of equipment and I managed to like get out without anyone seeing me. I got my equipment. I come back and I'm trying to make my way back to the dressing room. And all of a sudden everyone goes, Hey, it's the smoky girl. 
because the band that I was the the, the singer that I was um, playing with used to be in the band Smokey. And so um, everyone goes, Smokey Girl! And literally, people were like clawing at me. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And like, they were like, ah! And I was just like, help, help! And the bodyguard had to come and rescue me. Oh, wow. He literally had to like pick me up and like pull oh, me over wow. his shoulder and be like, everybody out of the way. And he's like screaming in Russian. I have no idea what they were saying, but I was just like, oh. So yeah, that was weird. That would be scary. Because yeah. I was just like, I mean, I'm I'm like li- I'm literally a little peon. <laughs> I was like, this is really weird. So, guys on my channel, Stephanie is not that at all. <laughs> uh, you make it clear to her. You buy. You <laughs> tell her that you love her. You buy her songs. You buy her music. She is not. I'm. I'm, I'm not even gonna say. I'm. I'm so mad now. I'm not even gonna continue that you said that about yourself. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. No, no. But like, I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, I, I don't mind. I, I like. Yeah. You know, being a background singer is sometimes more exciting than being a lead singer. <laughs> I understand. I understand. You you have you can keep the fun and some of the fame, but not the the downside of being famous. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Yeah, you you get you get to see the world. You get to sing music, yeah. and like even though you're on stage, you have a little bit more freedom because you're not the one whose face is carrying the True. band. But see, you I know? want you to be famous because then when I that I, I can say yes, I discovered her. It was yeah. Me. You yeah. totally can. Yeah. Well, the community <laughs> no, like, did. Yeah. yeah, you guys. I yeah. have to say, it's always been fun. Every time I stop by your channel, I have fun talking to everybody. Odd news. Uh, ooh, a shark gives diver a kiss on the face. It, does the diver still have a face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, that's uh, one for Stephanie. We write that down. Yeah, right. Uh, there's, there's a picture of the diver in the water looking up like this, and the shark it looks like the shark is giving tongue open mouth to the to the goggle to with open mouth to the to the face. Uh, that story has a lot of bite. Let me tell you, baby shark, do do <laughs> yeah, baby shark, yeah. There's just a shark with the mouth open <laughs> touching the, the the diver's mask, and mm-hmm. I yeah, I don't want to kiss from a shark. I prefer girls. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> A British mus- musician plays highest altitude grand piano performance. Looks like he's playing this in a mount on a mountain top. Wow, maybe he was high, huh? Okay. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> that's just too easy. These are funny news headlines, actual headlines that were not like proofread, sort of speak. You mm-hmm. follow? Okay, all right. Cop makes arrest in bathroom after smelling crack. Oh God, that is an I, awkward headline. I know what they're saying, but it did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> next one. Man accused of killing a lawyer receives a two one thirty. City council runs out of time to discuss shorter meetings. <laughs> Uh, uh, city is unsure why the sewer smells. That's a, Do they know what a sewer is? I don't know. <laughs> okay. A, a rally against apathy draws small crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Cemetery residents making a comeback. <laughs> I know. Oh. 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 Uh, what do you call a potato that has turned to the dark side? Vader tots. <laughs> that is so cool. I'm like, imagining little tater tots with little masks. That's so cute. I know. I, I know. I, I, I know. Uh, I like uh, that one. You, what? <clears throat> what do you call a dinosaur's fart? A blast from the past. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I'm not normally one for fart jokes, but that is worth it. All right, that's that was worth it. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, okay. All right. <laughs> Um, 
Well, toss that one really stinks. Yes, thank you. Hmm. <laughs>